I've been searching for a girl who's gonna be my wife. Oh. A damsel made by the Almighty, prepared for me. I never see, so I keep on searching from the east and I'm searching from the west. The north and south, without knowing she's by my side. But as God may have pity, He sent you to me. I can't believe I found you right now, babe. Thank God I found you. Right now no one's gonna take your place No matter what they do You will be my wife Listen, special kind of woman you are You need a special man just like me Then we gonna make a good couple The enemies they fight in vain Cause no matter what I'm gonna be with you hey, Thank God I found you Thank God I found you in my life Long I've been searching But right now no one's gonna take your place No matter what they do You will be my wife Listen Good afternoon This is our final I watch your nana na Thank you Make up in my pocket Is that the gift which you rejected? Meaning, Alex actually bought this car for you, but you decided otherwise. So I took it, and now it belongs to me. You must be mad for saying that, and you must be very stupid for thinking you can eat your cake and have it. Where were you when I picked him from the gutters? Brushed him up and turned him into somebody. And now you think you can jump out from nowhere to rip where you did not sow? <clears throat> My dear sister, you really need to search your brain very well. I actually invested in this guy, you know. It was 50-50, remember? And I was going to pay you back! Was that not the agreement? And did you ever pay back? Because you never asked! Oh, really? I yes! Was, you were supposed to pay me back! So did yeah. you pay back? You never asked! Oh, I was supposed to ask you! You were supposed to ask! You're talking trash! You are stupid! You're talking trash! You're, what You're very is stupid! What's going on here? Who is better wearing my day? I came home excited as a graduate. What's going on? Welcome, my dear. Okay, so who owns this car parked here? I do own the car. Alex bought it for me. Alex bought it for you? When do you become Alex's sister? He now buys you a gift instead of Nancy. Ask your silly sister. He became mine the day she decided to go on a secret relationship with David to satisfy her urge, claiming she went visiting a friend. Uh huh. Uh huh. So? You can have him back for all I care. I don't have anything to do with him anymore. But just leave my Alex alone. Did you hear me? Sister, I warned you, didn't I? Okay. What brought today's unnecessary drama? What? Answer him! Talk! Oh. Alex got a gift for her. She turned it down without knowing the content. So he gave it to me. And here she is fighting over it. Sister, see, since the gift was originally meant for her, please just give her the car keys. Please. Please, for my sake. Here it is. You can have it. Whatever. Hold on a moment, please. One more thing. It's for you. Fifty. 
50 million naira. What's this for? I believe it's a payoff. Uh-huh. You're not saying anything. A payoff for what? A payoff from Alex. <laughs> you are stupid. It is so clear right now that you, you've gone bonkers. You are very mad. I'm pained, but it's okay. Let me help you with this. All right. Just take her. Huh? It's okay. I'll make something for you. I know you have not eaten. Have you eaten? Mm, no. But well, I hope there's something. Yes, there is. I'll make something for you, even if there is nothing. Stay there. I'll you now. <laughs> Relationship, then <laughs> blame yourself because I warned you. I warned you earlier. And so what? Is there enough for you to, to, to betray me? Is it? I never did. I told you that she's a wife for relationship, but you said no, that she was not. Look, we've been keeping an open secret. Yes, she knows about it. She will just keep you quiet. And you should blame yourself. Yes. Anyways, we can work this out. We can work things out. She is your twin sister. Woman is a woman. Let us plan. And get married. Possibly live together. <laughs> and we can actually learn how to love each other. Maybe later. Jonah. We can't work. You know why? Because you are so arrogant! So are you! Fine! Now you listen. And listen real good. We heard nothing. And we will have nothing in the future. So the earlier you pick up yourself and go fight for what is yours, the better for you. Or someone else will. Ah, it's been like that. I, 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 I don't have strength to fight a fight I would definitely lose. Mm -hmm. She has been searching for a better option, for a better guy than me. And possibly if she has found one, then there's nothing, nothing anybody, me or you, can do about it. I wish you good luck. I wish you success. Blame yourself for your stupidity. Mugu. You have made the ADG change. Da, 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 da. 
da 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 Yeah man <laughs> See I've been searching for a girl Who's gonna be my wife Why did you allow your sister to make an offer and not you? You are the perfect one You're exactly what I've been looking for I've searched the whole world for someone like you Not knowing that you were my initial I was dating Dave at the time and uh, I never wanted to cheat on him because I really loved him. Really? Yes, I loved him so much and um, I didn't want anything to come between us. You know, I would do anything for him. I would have sacrificed anything for him. But there was something about his lifestyle. He wasn't just good at all. Mm -hmm. well, was his lifestyle the reason he did his work? No. No, 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 no. Not at all. Yeah, come on. One thing you don't need to know that it's just a bit about it. Mm -hmm. I need to know. You know, my wife to be here, she knows everything about you. Okay. He cheated. If he were to be with other girls, maybe, just maybe, I would have forgiven him, you know, but he cheated with someone very close to me. Now, come on, be please. <laughs> no. Tom. You don't need to know. I need to know. I want to know. Are you sure? My Nancy, my sister. Nancy. Nancy slept with me. Yeah. Nancy, you don't look good. What is the problem? Why would I be happy? Why would I be happy when Mercy has decided to rip the fruit of my labor? Why? Rip the fruit of your labor. How? You are aware, Metalis, right? Yes, I'm aware. Everything started. Yes. Okay. Now, my dear sister Mercy has decided to take what rightfully belongs to me. No, no, no. Messi can do such. I know Messi very well. I am telling you that she's doing it! She is doing it! But I am here because we all are one. I need you to talk senses into her. Talk to her! Because if I lose it, if I lose it! Hmm. Hmm. My dear, I'm not promising you anything yet. I hear my side of the story. Whichever way you chose to go about it, no problem. But my own is talk to her. Like I said, if I lose it, I will forget the fact that she is my twin sister. I'm not forgetting. Talk to Junior too. Because if he crosses my path, I will crush him as well. It's a promise. That's why I No, 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 my pass! It has nothing to do that. Just pass my message. What is this all about? My dear Lily. Please, I can't conclude till I hear from Missy. This is serious. I smell disaster. Oh, are you listening to me? I do not care that you are my sister. Stay away from my Alex. You know you lost everything already. Hmm. Hmm. I see. My guess is right after all. Sister, 
you have just drawn the battle line. Well, take this from me. Listen to me. I will advise you leave my Alex and go back to your stupid Dave. Because you know what? I do not want to have anything to do with him. I do not need his services anymore. I am going to fight you with the last drop of my blood if you do not leave Alex. And in case you didn't hear that well, I said, I am going to fight you with the last drop of my blood. If putting you down six feet is the only option I have, I'll go for it. Leave him alone. I mean it. You know, <clears throat> you lost everything already. You lost everything the moment you decided to betray me. Don't say I didn't want you. You know me. You know how it is. Don't say I didn't want you. Oh, please bring that down. Yeah, man. <laughs> See, I've been searching for a girl who's gonna be my wife. Oh. A damsel made by the Almighty prepared for me. I never see so what Why the audience invitation? What is going on between you and your sister? Hmm. Hmm. That one. Alex dumped her for me. And you accepted him? But of course. Wholeheartedly, with joy, gladness in my heart. How could you? How could you do that to your only sister? Your blood sister? I know something has pushed you in doing that. So, tell me the whole truth. So, what is happening between your sisters? They both are fighting over a man. David? No, Alex. I thought Alex belongs to Nancy. I mean, she transformed him single-handedly. So? But, Macy desires him. I don't understand you. Why do you always support Mercy? I am supporting no one, Ella. I'm just speaking the truth. What truth? Hmm? That Mercy tried to snatch Nancy's boyfriend. Is that the truth? Ella, that was only what you were told. So, what actually happened? Hmm? Tell me. You remember, um, those days in school when my sister goes to club with David yes. you know I told you David likes going to the club and usually I'll plead with my sister to go with him yes I remember it. good little did I know that this my sister started having a secret affair with David mm -hmm. junior warned me though but you know what the hell She's my twin sister, of course. Who told you that? And how sure are you? After nightclub, my sister doesn't come home. She comes home in the morning. Now, does this... You know, David just all of a sudden stopped asking me for sex. Yes. But, you know, somehow I got used to it. I tried to live with it. Then one day, my sister got up, told me that she was leaving with the family car to see a friend. Or rather, she was going to her shop. I can't really remember what she said, but she said she was going out. So I got bored at home. I decided to visit my boyfriend. I went over to David's house, but on entering the compound, 
I saw the car there. Our family car. I wanted to go in, but somehow, something just said it wasn't necessary. It wasn't important, so I left. When she came back home, I asked her, but you know my sister, she cooked up one story like that. You know she's good in telling lies. She can <laughs> formulate anything at any time. So what the hell, I believed her. She's my twin sister. You saw the family car parked outside. You could have gone in to know what is happening instead of concluding. Hmm. Now let me tell you the rest. Yes, you really need to adjust to listen to this. Um, another day came by. She got dressed again. This time around, with her own car. She told me she was going to see a friend. And she left. I got bored at home as usual. I decided to go over to David's house. This time around, I didn't call. I did not call him. So I went in. Lo and behold, my sister's car was there. What? Yes. So this time around, I decided to correct my mistake. I went in. Hmm. I just saw them together, they were making, they were just there having fun. <sighs> yes, I don't need to tell you the position that I saw them in, but <laughs> that's my twin sister we're talking about here. <sighs> I can't believe this. You see? Nancy is so wicked. She also threatened to deal with you should you stand on her way. Listen, you have to be very careful, okay? I do not want anything to happen to you. I can't afford to see you get hurt. Please, you have to be very, very careful. A desperate lady can go to the airstream. Please be careful. Alright? Don't worry, I will. I can take sure? care of myself here. Yeah. I can take care of myself. Hmm? Nothing will happen to me. I will be safe. I'm just scared. Don't be scared. Okay. Huh? I will be fine. Say so then. Her. <laughs> you have 
yourself to the blame. Let me ask you. What can I go? If you kill Alex, what do I start to get? What do I start getting out of this? Where is your sister? My sister, Nancy. She's in her restaurant. Come I can't fire your generation. Who told you we were looking for Nancy? Hey, hey, hey. Where's Mercy? She's in Nancy's restaurant. What if we go there and she's not there? Uh, you will be a dead man. That's what she told me. That's what she told me when she was leaving. Shh, shh, shh. You better be sure of what you're just telling us. If not, church will close on you, bro. Now, where are you going to? Come on, move it. Bless him. Since that money entered into your father's account, it has been from one meeting to another, one hotel room to another. Only in pure, only pure, pure, pure. Mama, let's ah, make jealousy. The money is his own now, and now the man to enjoy the money. Uh -uh. Why do you always cite your father? Why? <laughs> Mama, the same reason you cited Nancy. Uh -huh. That's the same reason why I'm citing my father now. What do I hear you say? Mama, you heard the truth. What I said is the truth. Ever since Nancy entered this house, I became the bad child. There's nothing I do that is good. If I sweep, you complain. If I cook, you complain. Uh -huh. So now you see how it feels to support the wrong person for the wrong reason and blame the right person. My daughter, you know I love you so much. Mm. And I can't hurt you. I was praising Nancy for a purpose. Mama, you were praising Nancy for a purpose. Yes. But at least, I'm a member of this family. At least I deserve to know. Oh, good no bearing. Tell me what is happening. Hmm? Me, according to your brother, he said that Nancy made him what he is today. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Which one is eh? I, I should not say eh again. Mama, I was expecting you to stop there. Because I have been thinking. Eh? Uh -huh. Oh, I said it. Mama. No wonder that girl came to this village. She was insulting the elders. That is what gave her that mind. Though. That courage. They even slapped my friend Nijoma and she was insulting the elders. Maybe because of that Prime Minister marriage. Mm. Mm. I feel the same way you feel. Mm. But our hands are tied. It seems your brother has already promised him all this marriage. <laughs> Mama. Mama. This thing is very easy. Because I've not seen anywhere 
they say promise and fail is a sin. Even the Bible did not record it. So if brother can fail this girl or tell her that I don't want to marry you again, my mama, brother will not go to hell. Or go to no town. Brother should do it and go for confession. What is all this one? Do you think it is easy? Mama, you think? <laughs> it is easier than you think. Oh. Do you know I'm telling you this thing? You see, brother Les, my brother, your son. <laughs> mama, he's the only son, oh. I know. Your only son. I know. Do you want to sit down and fold your hands and watch one small girl kill him? Mbam, God, God forbid. Or say mamba, no, God forbid. Or say mamba. See, let me tell you, Nancy's baptismal name is Ellie Grave. Huh? Now, Ellie Grave. You see that girl? She can kill any strong man within three years. What is even three years? Three years is too long now. Then she will just pretend like nothing happened, Mama. If you love your son, my own brother, brother Alice, hey, Mama, please beg him to run for his life. Yeah. Beg him to run for his life. Be cool. Hmm. Me, I don't want to lose him. All those things you used to buy want to for lose me. Him too. I don't want to lose him. Yeah. Don't do my thing. Uh, hello, brother. Good evening, sir. I guess her phone is on silent for her security. Brother, to be sincere, all is not well. This is not safe. A few hours ago, Nancy sent some boys to our house, and I know their mission was to hurt her. You can only see her on one condition. Take me to your village. Take her to your village for her safety. It is not safe for her. Oh, Nai. Nai, there is something I want to discuss with you. Happiness. What is it you want to discuss with me? I hope it has nothing to do with money. Because I don't have one cover to give you for that money. I don't need your money. I still have mine. Then what is it? Tell me. It's about our son's future. Our son's future? Yes. What is wrong with our son's bright future? Nancy can make that our son's bright future to be dark. Yeah. You are right. But I, I'm confused. That girl is not related to anything like a wife material. She can't be my daughter-in-law. Mom. Hmm. Nine. If she behaved like that on the first visit, first visit, what will happen if our son marries her? Honestly speaking, I don't know. That means she will turn out to be a female king. Mm -hmm. The whole family will bow to her feet and worship her like king of kings. Oh. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm saying, Nani. What do we do? to save our son from this calamity that is about to fall on him. Eh? Well, I don't know. But uh, whichever one he chooses, that girl can never come into this family as my daughter-in-law. But to a God. That is it. me to speak with you. I'm going to call him later. Junior, I am sick and tired of all this hide and seek game. I just want to go. I want to leave. To where? To where? See, sister, dad is coming back in the next time. I just called him. I called him and informed him of the ongoing fight between you and Nancy. You did what? Why did you do that? Sister, you want to die? Sister, we shouldn't allow dad to be in the US enjoying himself. Parabu down that another woman. Why you and sister is here fighting, killing each other? Oh, what if she kills you? Listen. You don't have to say that. See, I'm just saying the truth and you know it. That's just the truth. That's why that dad sees and you are living here because maybe he's without that woman. You don't have to say that, okay? Please. I'm saying the truth and you know that I'm saying the truth. This is just the truth. Alright, what are we going to do now? See, I met with Alex. 
appear as a good. Pack your things. Get ready. You are leaving for Alex Village very early tomorrow morning. It's no longer safe for you. Nancy is everywhere in the city looking for you. Out there, he's scared for you. Please stay here. Pack your things. Get ready. I'll be back. Let me go to the house and pick up some things. But please don't cross this door for any reason. Don't. Please. I don't want to lose you. Please, sister. Please. I'll be back here. Just pack your things. Very good. I'm coming. I'll be back. Sharp, sharp now, sharp, sharp. Where is she? She, Miss, yes, she, she stays here because she knows something is after her life. But she's not. I, 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 I can come and show you. Come, come and see. She, she's not inside. She wants to see her friend Lillian. I know the hell is Lillian. Lillian is her classmate, former, a good friend. Nancy knows her. Will you shut that your dirty mouth? Will you shut it up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Sit down, hot. Can you take us to Lillian now? How can I take you to go and hurt my own blood sister? It's not normal now. I don't even know where she is. You know what? Let's just free this idiot. Chicken, what is it? They located us. They traced oh. me here. Who? The people who were still dead. Chicken, so what do we do now? Listen, you will do nothing. You will stay back. I believe they won't come back. How sure are you they're not going to come back here? They have left you already. Going out there will be exposing yourself to danger. Now, listen, they will believe that since they are visited, that you won't stay here again. They will believe that you won't pass a night ever here again since they visited. So, what are you to do now is calm down. Pack your things. Pack your and get ready. I'm leaving here very early tomorrow morning. I need to go now. I need to leave. Me staying here, I am safer. You know you're not safe out there either. Don't worry about me. I am not a target. Listen, I can manage. I can cope. It's all about you. It's all about you, sister. See what will happen now. I will lock the door from outside. Lock it from inside. On my return, I will knock. Seven knocks. You open the door. Two knocks. Just know that there is danger. So just call the police. Understand? In your doubt, knock, knock, don't open. I'm not the one. Okay. okay. Please stay safe. Pack your things and get ready. Okay. Please. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Dad, I've heard what you said. I am deeply sorry. I accept all my wrongs. I was blinded by desperation. And my pride. You, 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 listen. How dare you? How dare you pass it like that? Now listen, let me tell you. Then talk and hear you the point. If anything happened to Mercy, I'll cut off your head. If I heard you clearly, that sounds like a threat. Oh, spare me that.